This is your fate. Come, embrace it. I'm good to go.
worry about us. To send any of these dishes away with food left on them would be an insult to the chef. Mm, this shark fin soup is especially good. My compliments. I'm so glad you like. Gal. And you! Did you really have to order that much? We could have thrown a banquet with all this food! Excuse me, I haven't eaten so much as a single morsel in the last fortnight. Though unlike you humans, I don't need to eat for sustenance. So it's more than I simply wish to. A treat for the senses, you could say. The hell are you talking about? Don't give me that load of crap! You can't just say something like that and expect me to just shrug and let it go. Ooh, the chunks of dried abalone really turn this soup into a surprise for the palate. You must think I'm loaded or something, ordering all these high roller dishes. Hey, at least leave a couple bites for me. Hiya, you two so close. Already bigger like married couple. I go now. Give you much, much alone time. Oh, almost forget to introduce. You call me May, okay? While you stay here, you need anything? I get for you. Mm. Something troubling you? You must be hungry, but you've barely touched your plate. As your master, I give you my full permission to dig in. Eat and... <sighs> Let me guess. You've got a big old spread of desserts on the way. After that, will you finally explain what's going on? And how are you expecting to pay for it? You've already gone and blown all my money! So let me get this straight. You're really a vampire? Correct. My name is Alwyndu Moonbria, current head of the Moonbria clan of noble truebloods who have ruled this land since time immemorial. Give me a break. It was funny the first time, but how long are you planning on dragging this joke out? We ain't in some kid's storybook and there's no such thing as vampires. Yeah, okay, so your wings look pretty realistic. And I could maybe buy you not being human, but... This is your fate. Come, embrace it. What was that? <laughs> Looks like your memory's clearing up. After your metal beast crashed yesterday, you were in bad sh I pulled you from the wreckage and formed a blood contract with you. That's why you're safe, sound, and very much alive now. What the hell's a blood contract? It's rather simple. I partook of your blood and at the same time infused you with some of mine. So now, you and I share a spiritual link as master and vassal. With the formation of our contract, you cease to be fully human. You've been reborn as my blood knight. Spare the Reaper's touch to guard and defend me. Right. Blood knights possess incredible regenerative powers. Despite being at death's door, your body recovered so quickly that by the time your rescuers came, I believe that should answer all of your questions, no? <laughs> this is all some kind of bad joke, right? You're telling me I've become some sort of... Well, not exactly. You're no longer completely human, but a blood contract is exactly what the name says. And as an involved party, you're free to nullify it at any time. What? It's the truth. I made our blood contract in the name of the Dark Goddess of Speed. You might not like it, but the price is weighted against the value of your life. Cheating death doesn't come cheap. Well, shit. I ain't proud of it, but I'm no stranger to debt. What with all the cash I poured into the tryst. So, how much is it gonna be? A million penny? that you want even more than that. Huh? Why would I have any interest in your petty cash? 
What I want is your help in retaking my castle. You have a castle? Of course. Did you not see it just beyond the hill? That is Castle Moonbria. I inherited it from my father. You mean that mirage floating out in the air? You're telling me that's your place? Wait, wait, back it up a little. What? Just what it sounds like. A fortnight ago, a villain unknown came and besieged my castle. I was deprived of most of my magical powers in the ordeal, but I was able to escape somehow. Just remembering it is enough to mortify me. So you don't know who did it, huh? Doesn't sound like you got much to go on either. Any ideas who it might be? Anyone you know got a grudge against you? Honestly, I haven't the faintest. Considering they command a host of fiends, and that means I need a vassal I can count on. You think there's any chance those goons who attack my aeroplane are involved with this? I'd almost guarantee it. After stripping me of my castle, they moved to secretly block off outside contact with Ilver to keep anyone from inter- I can only assume that's the reason they blasted your metal beast out of the skies yesterday. Alright, let's say I believe what you're saying. It sounds like me and the Tristan have a score to settle with those guys, whoever they are. So I guess it makes sense to work with you to make sure they get what's coming to them. <laughs> Glad to see you're finally falling in line. So, to reiterate- Hold it! I'm willing to help. But when I do something, I at least want to say how I do it. I don't really get all this blood contract mumbo jumbo, but I'm not gonna let you treat me like some serving boy. Uh huh. Feisty, aren't we? I'm a treasure hunter and an aeroplane pilot, and pretty good at both, if I say so myself. And both of those jobs put a premium on freedom. Going where you want, doing what you want. So I'm sorry to say that kowtowing your ever- In other words, what you're trying to say is you don't want to work with me? No, it's not that. I'm grateful you saved my life. And I do want to return the favor. But I want to do it as equal partners. That's my condition. You understand the position you're in here. The blood contract is absolute. Going against the will of the master like you are should cause you a significant degree of pain. <sighs> so that... I guess that explains why my head was throbbing. I apologize for the discomfort, but if you keep defying my will, all the effort I went through to save your life will have been for nothing. Got it? Oh, I get what you're saying. And that's all the more reason not to. It might seem stupid, but the little pride I've got is what keeps- You can't live with that, and suit yourself. You can have your blood contract back, and the life you- <laughs> That said, I'm intrigued. Uh... Very well. From this point forward, I hereby- Hey! On my name, let the blood contract- What? contract has been revised. As of right now, we stand on the same footing, completely equal. The bond formed by the blood contract still exists, but if you join me, you can be assured that you're in so I ask you one thing. I'm game. Don't you worry, you've done a lot for me already and I'm with interest. Excellent. I'm ex- Still, this was an unexpectedly s- After all, I never imagined- Glorious position. Being my servant, of course. To be the vassal of a true, willingly denying yourself such good fortune. Why the hell would I want to be popular with demons? Do you really think I'd get a kick out of being your magical errand boy? You wouldn't? Um, seeing as I've... I guess the people of the world must have actually changed in the last couple centuries, huh? Uh, it's all starting to make sense. She's practically a shut-in. Being so sheltered is probably where she gets. Mm -hmm. Were you saying? Nah, just think. This whole thing sounds like it's gonna be some rough. What? Are you getting cold feet? 
you have nothing to worry about. Once I get my power, True Blood vampires are legendary for their exception. So you can rest easy, no? Nope. <laughs> what? something come again Thank you. 